Some of the most formidable engines ever created came from behind the Iron Curtain. Imagine V12 engines that are so strong they can move rocks, power huge military vehicles, and take on the world's roughest landscapes. During the height of the Cold War, the Soviet Union wasn't just trying to get to the moon. They were also building some of the craziest machines ever, which were driven by these huge engines. These V12s were powerful, well-designed monstrosities meant to push the edges of what was possible in big machinery. Welcome to Motor Kingdom. Today we'll learn about five of these amazing V12 engines from the Soviet era. We'll look at their specs, the huge vehicles they powered, and how they helped the USSR become even stronger in military and industrial power. First, hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest automotive stories and content. The YAMZ240 engine is one of the most iconic and enduring powerhouses in Soviet-era mechanical engineering. Produced by the Auroslavl motor plant in the USSR, this engine was designed to power a range of heavy-duty vehicles and machinery, and it became a staple of Soviet industrial and military applications. The YAMZ240 is a V12 turbocharged diesel engine with a displacement of 22.3 liters, producing between 500 and 600 horsepower and an impressive torque output of around 2,000 newton meters. The engine was liquid-cooled, which allowed it to perform efficiently under the heavy stress of long operational hours and harsh conditions. The engine's versatility was its key strength. It found applications in a wide variety of vehicles, ranging from industrial machinery to military transport. The YAMZ240 was primarily used in heavy-duty trucks, which haul large loads over difficult and often rugged terrain. It also powered several military vehicles, where reliability and power were essential. Beyond military use, the engine was also applied to industrial machinery, where its sheer power was necessary for construction, mining, and agricultural tasks. This broad range of uses made the YAMZ240 a cornerstone of Soviet infrastructure. One of the most notable vehicles powered by the YAMZ240 engine was the Maz 537 heavy transporter. This massive vehicle was used to transport military equipment, including missiles and artillery, across the Soviet Union's vast and often challenging landscapes. The Maz 537 was designed to carry hefty loads, and the YAMZ240's power output allowed it to perform this task reliably even under the most demanding conditions. The engine also powered specialized off-road trucks designed for extreme environments, further showcasing its ruggedness and adaptability. The YAMZ240 was in service from the 1960s through the 1990s, with its robust design ensuring it remained a reliable workhorse for decades. It was essential during the Cold War era, supporting the Soviet Union's military and industrial operations. It symbolized Soviet engineering's commitment to power and durability. The YAMZ240 was more than just an engine, it was the backbone of Soviet heavy machinery. From the Mass 537 heavy transporter to specialized off-road trucks, it powered the vehicles that moved the Soviet Union's industrial and military assets across harsh terrains. Its long service life stands as a testament to the lasting impact of Soviet engineering on the world of heavy-duty engines. The Kharkiv Model V2 is one of the most influential and long-lasting diesel engines in Soviet history. Manufactured by the Kharkiv Morozov Machine Building Design Bureau in Ukraine, this V12 diesel engine was designed to power some of the Soviet Union's most iconic and formidable military vehicles. With a displacement of 38.8 liters, the V2 produced between 500 and 600 horsepower and a torque output of approximately 2300 newton meters, providing the raw power needed to drive heavy military machinery across challenging terrain. The engine was liquid-cooled, ensuring efficient temperature regulation during prolonged operations. The Kharkiv V2 engine's applications were predominantly military, but it also found its way into industrial machinery and heavy trucks and tractors. Its most notable use, however, was in the iconic Soviet tanks of World War II, such as the T-34 and the IS-2. The T-34 in particular is one of the most celebrated tanks of the Second World War, known for its remarkable mobility, armor, and firepower. The V2 engine played a pivotal role in the T-34's ability to move quickly across the battlefield and endure the grueling conditions of warfare. The IS-2, a heavy tank designed to counter German heavy armor, was another key vehicle powered by the V2, providing it with the strength and reliability required to carry its heavy load and deliver devastating power. Beyond tanks, the V2 engine was also used in Soviet trucks, tractors, and industrial machinery, demonstrating its versatility and durability in various applications. The engine's rugged design made it an ideal choice for use in the harshest conditions from the frozen landscapes of the Eastern Front to the rough terrains of agricultural and industrial sites. The Kharkiv V2 engine was in service from the 1930s to the 1980s, 
making it one of the longest serving engines in Soviet history. Its ability to power a wide range of vehicles and machinery for nearly five decades speaks to its exceptional engineering. The V2's design and performance remain influential even as newer technologies emerged, solidifying its place in Soviet and military history. Manufactured in the Soviet Union and later used in Soviet and Russian military vehicles, the V2 engine became a cornerstone of Soviet military might, helping the USSR maintain its presence as a global superpower throughout the Cold War era. Its longevity, versatility, and unmatched power made it one of the most essential pieces of machinery in the Soviet arsenal, and its legacy continues to be remembered today as a symbol of Soviet engineering prowess. The Tatra 103 air-cooled V12 is a unique engine in the history of heavy machinery, primarily due to its innovative air-cooled design. Manufactured in Czechoslovakia, a country aligned with Soviet interests during the Cold War, the Tatra 103 powered various military and industrial vehicles from the 1960s through the 1980s. This V12 air-cooled diesel engine boasted a displacement of 14.8 liters and produced approximately 210 horsepower along with 800 newton meters of torque. While rare for engines of its size, its air-cooled engine system was a significant design feature that made it stand out, as air-cooled systems were less common for such large engines than the more traditional liquid-cooled systems. The Tatra 103 engine was found to have primary applications in military trucks, transporters, and industrial and agricultural machinery, demonstrating its ruggedness and versatility. One of the most notable vehicles powered by this engine was the Tatra T813 Kolos a massive off-road truck designed to carry heavy loads across the most challenging terrains. The T813 Kolos was a beast of a vehicle, capable of efficiently handling rough landscapes, and its reliability made it a go-to machine for military and civilian use. The engine also powered the Tatra T815, a highly versatile truck that saw use both in military applications and civilian sectors, further solidifying the Tatra 103's versatility. The Tatra 103 was known for its durability, especially in harsh environments like military operations or industrial applications, where reliability was paramount. The air-cooled design was particularly beneficial in ensuring the engine could withstand extreme conditions without the risk of coolant leakage, which could be catastrophic in remote or combat zones. This made it ideal for military vehicles that needed to operate under all conditions, from Eastern Europe's frozen fronts to the Mediterranean's dusty roads. From the 1960s to the 1980s, the Tatra 103 was a critical piece of engineering during the Cold War period. This engine exemplified the quality and innovation of Czechoslovakian engineering, which was closely aligned with Soviet interests. The engine's ability to perform in both military and civilian capacities helped cement Tatra's reputation for creating robust, reliable vehicles that could perform under the most demanding circumstances. The Tatra 103, while not as widely known as some Soviet engines, remains a fascinating example of Cold War-era engineering, and its legacy endures in the vehicles that used it. Its rugged reliability, air-cooled design, and versatile applications make it an important piece of the puzzle in understanding the industrial and military capabilities of the era. The Maz 7904 was one of the most extreme heavy-duty vehicles in Soviet history, specifically designed for military purposes. Powered by a CHN 1820V12 engine with a displacement of 42.4 liters, this turbo diesel engine could produce an astonishing 1500 horsepower and generate 6000 newton meters of torque, making it one of the most powerful engines of its time. Its liquid-cooled design ensured reliable performance even under the intense stress of long-distance and high-load operations. Manufactured by the Minsk automobile plant, the Maz 7904 was a massive 12-wheeled megatruck capable of carrying up to 220 tons of cargo. This gargantuan truck was designed to transport and deploy ICBMs across the vast Soviet landscape, where the extraordinary power of the Mass 7904's engine balanced its enormous size and weight. The truck's size and capabilities symbolized Soviet military might and logistical power during the Cold War. The Mass 7904's massive engine and rugged design allowed it to operate in extreme off-road conditions, making it ideal for navigating the often harsh and varied terrains of the Soviet Union. Whether crossing tundra, traversing mountain ranges, or moving along muddy tracks, the Mass 7904 was built to handle everything. Its sheer power was necessary to move the ICBMs, among the most critical and strategically significant pieces of military hardware in the Soviet arsenal. The Mass 7904 and by extension its powerful 42.4-liter turbo diesel V12 engine was in use from the 1980s into the 1990s. While the vehicle was relatively rare and used primarily by the military, it became an iconic example of Soviet engineering, particularly in its inability to combine raw power with logistical flexibility. 
This engine and its powered vehicle highlighted the Soviet Union's focus on creating robust and reliable machines capable of executing critical military tasks under any circumstances. Though the truck was eventually phased out, the legacy of its engineering prowess lives on, illustrating the extraordinary lengths the USSR went to to ensure their military was mobile, capable, and ready for any challenge during the Cold War. The Zvezda M50 63-liter V12 engine is one of the most powerful and enduring engines in Soviet and Russian naval history. Manufactured by the Zvezda plant in St. Petersburg, Russia, this massive V12 engine was designed for use in naval vessels and power generation systems. With an incredible 63-liter displacement, the M50 V12 could produce around 1,200 horsepower and generate a staggering 4,500 newton meters of torque, providing the immense power required for military and naval operations. Its liquid-cooled design allowed it to operate efficiently under continuous use in the harsh maritime environment, where reliability and endurance were paramount. The Zvezda M50 engine's primary applications were in naval vessels, particularly in patrol boats and small warships, where its high-power output was critical for providing speed and maneuverability on the open seas. One of the most notable vehicles powered by the M50 engine was the Project 206 Storm-class torpedo boat, which was part of the Soviet and later Russian naval fleets. These boats were designed to be fast, agile, and heavily armed, capable of engaging enemy vessels with torpedoes and other weapons. The Zvezda M50's power enabled these boats to reach high speeds and navigate precisely, making them a formidable component of the Soviet Navy during the Cold War. In addition to its naval applications, the Zvezda M50 engine was also used in power generation, providing energy to various installations and infrastructure. Its robust design and reliability made it an excellent choice for such critical applications, where failure was not an option. The Zvezda M50 engine was in use from the 1950s. Some versions of it are still in limited use today, especially in certain naval vessels within the Russian fleet. Its longevity and versatility are a testament to the exceptional quality of Soviet-era engineering and the ongoing reliance on proven technologies for military and industrial purposes. Manufactured in the USSR and later utilized in Russia, the Zvezda M50 V12 engine became a critical part of Soviet and Russian naval power. Its application in the Project 206 Storm-class torpedo boats and other naval vessels helped the Soviet Union maintain a strong and mobile naval presence during the Cold War. Even today, the M50 engine symbolizes Soviet and Russian engineering expertise, illustrating the innovation and power that drove naval operations and strategic defense for decades. As we've seen, the Soviet era gave rise to some of the most remarkable engines ever built, machines born out of necessity, innovation, and sheer determination. These V-12 powerhouses weren't just engines, they were feats of engineering that propelled tanks across battlefields, transported unimaginable loads, and roared across rugged terrains. They were the lifeblood of military might, industrial progress, and even maritime dominance. While the Iron Curtain may have fallen, the legacy of these Soviet V-12 engines continues to resonate, they remind us of a time when raw mechanical power and groundbreaking ingenuity merged to shape history, and they remain a testament to the human drive to build, push boundaries, and conquer the impossible. What do you think was the most impressive Soviet V-12 engine we cover today, and why? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed learning about these incredible machines, hit that subscribe button and join us in the next one.